Hey guys, what's going on? Pastor Mike coming to you live from the Lawfus. As always, giving you a preview of what's coming up this week at Highlands for week ending Lord's Day, Sunday, July 24th, 2022. Today's Wednesday, so you know what that means. Our midweek study, Problems with Christianity, Responding to Common Objections to the Faith. Tonight, 6.30 p.m., this week's problem or objection is the problem of Jesus. And perhaps a lot of you are saying, well, I don't have a problem with Jesus, but many people do. Many people have a problem with Jesus and specifically understanding who Jesus was. Maybe you weren't sure he existed at all. Maybe you are in the camp of people like the Jesus Seminar that says, well, we know next to nothing about the actual historical Jesus. All we know is what is contained in the Gospels. And that's just what the church wants you to know. So we can't know who Jesus possibly was. Maybe we're not sure Jesus is God at all. Maybe we just think he's open to our own interpretation as a great moral teacher or someone as an example. We are going to engage with all of those questions and objections tonight. We're going to equip you with some truth to be able to have confidence in what you believe and why. And as always, we're just going to have a great time being together, fellowshipping together, and looking at these things from God's Word and other authors who point us to the truth. Uh, Just one note, because the forecast says it is going to hit about 127 degrees today. Uh, We will be upstairs right here in the law office tonight, 6.30 p.m. I got the air cranked right now, so we should be (laughs) nice and cool uh, tonight. So we'll be upstairs here. If you are not able to join us, as always, remember that you can view uh, the Midweek online live stream on our website, on the YouTubes, on the Facebooks. And then also, if you miss a sermon or if you miss Midweek at all, you can view it at any time online at YouTube. Or we are also now on Spotify. So if you don't want to see my beautiful face, you can just listen to my beautiful voice on the Spotify or else on Apple Podcasts as well. So just for you techie folks out there. But coming up Sunday, Lord's Day, July 24th, 2022, 9.30 a.m., we will be gathering together for worship in fellowship, in song, and also in the Word as we endeavor to equip and make and mature disciples and encourage us as we endeavor to live lives worthy of the calling of Christians right here In our context in Sussex County, New Jersey, we are going to be continuing our summer series in the Psalms, and we are going to be up to Psalm 38. Not quite as large as the Psalm from last week. It's going to be half that size, but it is a very powerful Psalm, which talks about sin, the the Psalmist uh, engaging with just the, the weight of sin, and also the physical effects of his sin, what that drives him to in despair. And many of us can testify to the effects of sin in our lives, maybe our own sin or the sin in general out there in society or people who have sinned against us and how that has affected us. But uh, maybe we can also, maybe there's some psychosomatic effects of sin that affect us psychologically and therefore physically. Fear, worry, anxiety, panic, all of that, physical symptoms, all of that, it's for real. Sin is for real, and the effects of sin are real. And at the end of the psalm, the psalmist just cries out for relief and redemption to the only one who can help, and that is God himself. And of course, we as the New Testament church, given the Holy Spirit, as we were just talking about a men's Bible study this morning, under the new covenant, we know that that is only through the person and the work of Jesus Christ. And so please join us Sunday morning. Uh, some other things for Sunday. Sunday after, immediately after church, uh, if you're on the shepherding team, remember we have our monthly meeting right here in the office. And uh, we'll be in chapter 6 of gentle and lowly. And I just would like to encourage you to, I I know it's supposed to be warm on Sunday, uh, but I would encourage you, if at all possible, if you don't have a medical condition that is uh, aggravated by the heat, uh, please make it a priority to join the gathered body in person, as Hebrews 10 tells us to, to not forsake the gathering. You dress comfortably, do, do all you have to do, um, but it, it's like an hour and a half together, and it is so, so important uh, to join with us physically if you are, uh, if it is all possible for you to do that. So please 
uh, join us. Sunday afternoon, 4 p.m., we have our Sunday care group, a uh, great group of people gathered together to talk about uh, the sermon, get to know each other, make relationships, pray for each other. Always, we are always welcoming for anyone who would like to come. This is an open group. Even if it's your first week at Highlands or you just have not gotten around to being in a care group, you're welcome. Please join us Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. in the office. Last but not least, coming up, We've got our baptism service July 31st at the Lazarders. Uh, there are a couple people that are going to make public professions of faith through uh, the obedience to the ordinance of baptism. And uh, so we're looking forward to that and hearing their testimonies and being encouraged, of course. We have room for more. So if you have never been baptized, see me. If you are not sure what baptism is or what we're talking about, see me. If you are baptized as an infant and you don't know what that means for Highlands Bible Church, see me. Any and all questions about baptism, see me. I'm happy to talk about it. I've been having lots of conversations about it. So please, uh, please let's talk about that and celebrate that together in two weeks on July 31st at the Lazarders. Also want to keep on your radar, September 17th, we have our Marriage Enrichment Seminar with Jonathan and Jen Holmes. Jonathan, just a, a really gifted pastor and biblical counselor and author. And so uh, please register online for this at the link below. And uh, it is $30 a couple. And we'll give you lunch and childcare and all of that. I also wanted to say, if you are not married, you can still come. If you're engaged... Uh, if you're dating, if you're single and you hope to be married, you are more than welcome to come to this to get a biblical perspective on marriage itself, but also what a husband and wife are called to do through scripture and the challenges of that. So please uh, mark your calendars and join us September 17th as well. I think that's all I have for us. I hope you enjoy the day and stay cool. And if I don't see you tonight at midweek, I will see you on Sunday.